Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Thanks for coming back as always. I appreciate it. I really hope you're having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another Transformer review. Yeah. So we're going to do kind of a versus thing. Today, I'm going to do tracks. We got I got in the New Kingdom tracks. Here he is. And I'm going to do it against the Reveal the Shield tracks. This is him. I'm also going to throw, I just threw in, this, this is the Takara one. Got a better paint job and everything. So I just thought I'd throw him, throw him in too as well. So there you go. Just going to do a versus thing. Going to do the uh, alt mode. And then going to do the bot mode and the weapons and everything. Just show the differences. And, you know, you can choose which one you like better. You know, so let's go right to it. That's what you came for. Yeah. All right. First things first. Let's take a look at their weapons. And this is for the kingdom. And this is kind of his, I guess, rocket launcher. You can put blast effects on there. So that's nice. And then you got, his pistol. it's just white plastic, no paint. Just a little sculpt work in there. And then you got his pistol or his gun. Once again, got some uh, waffles in his gun. Come on now. But there you go. And you can store it right here. And you can also store it on back here. Which, uh, yeah, it kind of shoots at his roof, really, to be honest, right here, if you're shooting from there. So you got that. And this is the Reveal the Shield weapons. And uh, it's got some waffles on there too. Wow, back then. There you go. Now this folds in like that and it will store back here. There's a little hole back there. You just store that in there. And you got his rocket launchers, which will look pretty good. Now this was painted, the silver right here. That's painted and then you got this right here, his rockets, just some sculpt work, no paint. And they will store on here as well. You just go a little C-clip right there, and they'll be like that. So both of them can store their weapons, so that's good. But uh, the Reveal the Shield ones hide them a little more, a little better, I guess. Not the rocket launchers, but they do hold the gun in there. So there you go. That is their weapons. And there they are in their alt modes. And that's it. Like I said, this reveal the shield. And this is kingdom. So there you go. There. So here they are, side by side. The reveal the shield is bigger and wider. That's one thing that suffered. Uh, this they were the. Um, this was a retool and recolor of the wheeljack mold. So, kind of doesn't look like that. Now, this looks more G1 than what this does, definitely. You can tell even with the hood and everything, it's got a bunch of just uh, fire effects and everything instead of just the original right there. Now, with this guy, looks good. Big issue. A lot of people's already pointed this out. Yeah, that right there. Just got a little gap right there on both sides. You can I squeeze as hard as I could. And it just will not stay together because there's a, just a little peg that's holding it together. And it just, it won't. Yeah, that's a, yeah, that sucks. But it does have a little porch. You can put some, uh, you know, weapons on there if you want to. So nice, you know, it, it's a decent looking uh, car mode. Kind of wish they would have uh, tinted these black so you couldn't see inside. They got nice uh, silver for the rims. I love the hood. I like the flame with the Autobot symbol. Looks good. Uh, no other paint right there. The blue is really shiny. This might be paint right here. I think they painted this, but it matches real well. And back here, you got the exhaust pipes. Didn't get no red tail lights or anything like that underneath. Cleans up decent. It covers up the head right there a little bit. Not a, not a terrible Corvette mode. I like it. It's just that right there. That really sucks right there, but it's a nice, decent car mode. I like that. And you got the uh, Reveal the Shield. Like I said, it is a lot more wider. And you got the flame effects. You got some silver right there for paint. Silver on the rims. Looks pretty good. Blackened out windows look a lot better. Like that. In the back, you got the Reveal the Shield. He's going to be an Autobot. You got the red tail lights right there. Underneath. Cleans up decent. You can see the feet right there. But, you know. Both look pretty good. And I'll just throw in, like I said, this is the Takara version back when they were doing separately Takara and Hasbro. 
Now this has just all metallic blue right here. Looks good. Some of my, I got some scratch on mine right there, which really sucks. Kind of scratched off the paint right there. A little bit right there too. So you gotta be careful with these things, but they got the nice flame effect right there with the Autobot symbol, silver paint. And like I said, the metallic blue is all painted. Looks good. Nice Autobot symbol. Silver rims. Silver red right here. Looks good. Underneath, same as uh, what his is. So that is the Takara version. So there you go. There's tracks. And real quick, there is Siege Red Alert, just for a little scale reference. Scale. Crappy Garnets, Crappy Toilet Paper, Care Bears for more scale. And real quick, everybody knows he has a third mode, which is a flying mode. So here is the kingdom one. I think it looks good, to be honest. I like it. God, I wish these things would just collapse in. If these things collapsed in and just didn't have that gap, the alt mode would really, really be awesome. I like this. It looks good. It's got the little things out here that flip up like that. Nice little, yeah, come on now. But yeah, you got two more ports uh, that are available, so you can add more weapons. You can add a little uh, a little guy right here, right there. He's got a little pulse right there. Looks good. A lot better than this guy. <laughs> this is, uh, it just basically just opens up everything. You see it. But this is his flying mode. And yeah, it's not, not that good. So I definitely had to give it to Kingdom. And here is the... Uh, the car one, once again, just, yeah. We don't even really stay together that well. Golly. But, yeah, so that is the flying mode. And like I said, I like the kingdom one. It looks really good. All right, back from transformation. Both transformations are fine. The leg transformation on him is kind of wonky, but it, it's all right. And he's easy. You shouldn't take that long. I love how you can push up and his head goes down. You push down the, uh, the chest. And it goes down, and you push it back up. That's pretty cool. A little, little anamorphous kind of thing going on. But uh looks pretty good. Uh, this tire goes right in front of here. But yeah, there they are. Holding their weapons. I like how the rockets go on him, but this just screams G1 right here. So, yeah. It's a little problem. His legs are a lot of issues with his legs. So, there you go. Look at the difference there. And side by side. So you kind of just, there you go. And the backs. There you go. Golly. Can't get them to stand on this surface. They just all willy nilly. But there they are together. All right, we'll take a look at the Revenge Shield. Or reveal the Shield, not Revenge. Reveal. I'm going to take this uh, gun out right there. So there you go. There's his head sculpt. Looks fine. Got nice red paint. Some blue eyes right there. We got these rockets that will go up and down. Like that. Now head movement, side to side. Not much down, not much up. And a little attitude for you. There. Let me get this out of the way so you can focus on him. There you go. You got the door wings. You can fold these in if you don't want them out like that. They got nice red paint right there. And they move up and down a little bit forward and back too as well. So you situate them. You got the tire. Got a little yellow paint right here. You got the reveal the shield paint right there. You can go all the way up to here. Um, You can... Uh, manipulate them a little bit. You can go all the way around. It is on a ball peg, so you get a little wiggle waggle. Uh, faucet swivel, double elbow right there. You got some red paint right there as well. Swivel of the hand, and they are fixed. And he does have a waist swivel, no ab crunch. You can do the Van Dam. Kick up, back, good. A little swivel right here. Then you got a knee swivel as well. You got some red paint right there. I think that gray right here might, uh, that might be just plastic. Thought it might be paint as well. 
Uh, not much on the uh, bend of the knee. Can't bend it very much. Uh, toe tilt down, definitely toe tilt up, and a little rocker, and the feet little look like like duck feet, kind of wop 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 wop. So there you go. Little backpack right there. He's always going to have that with there. Here's the back. So not bad, you know. But like I said he is using Will Jack's um, mold, so kind of suffers for being a Trax, to be honest. But there, that is Rebuild the Shield tracks. All right, there is Kingdom tracks, And once again, I think he looks really good. I mean, he screams G1. And I love that. You can move these little rockets side to side. You can put um, uh, blast effects in there and on his gun too. Now, if you don't want to store his gun by holding it, you have the option of putting it back here like that. He does have a peg hole back there. Um... You can store it back there if you want to. You can store it on his arm like that. Or he can hold the whole thing if you want to as well. So, tons of options for his weapon. That's cool. Take that out. All right, let's look at tracks real quick. Beautiful head sculpt. Love that. Love the red paint, blue eyes. The white is all painted. Then there's some silver accent pieces right there. That is nice. So, really great on the head sculpt. And you can look, eh, not down a little bit, not much. Up, not much either, not to anything to write home about. Can't go all the way around because that little post back there is in the way, but it gives him enough, I think. A uh, little add to, too. A little add to, too, too. But you got the chest, a little the Autobot, yellow paint right there, silver paint for the faux uh, uh, windows and stuff. White paint right here for the crotch. Looks good. All right. So with these, you can move these up and down. That's nice. You can put a little uh, blast effects right there. So he's getting like blasted on there. He has holes right here. You can put some more blast effects right there. Uh, go up to there. Um, he does have a backward butterfly. Just because of transformation. All the way around. And this go the uh, fins go with it. Um, let's see. 90 degree for the elbow bend. Swivel. Does have a big gap and hole right there in the hole because of the, you know, you can put stuff in there. So that's kind of unsightly. Uh, nothing with the fist, just in and out a little bit, just because for information. I'm sure a third party uh, company is going to make a little flap right there for that. Waist swivel, looks good. You can do the Van Dam for days. Kick up, you got to lift up that a little bit. And uh, back swivel right here. Knee bend, these are terrible. They won't stay in. They're, they're supposed to be clipped in right here to this little tab right here. There, you've already seen that already, and it's just bad. And that right there, come on now. That is fugly too, as well. Um, up, down, rocker. It's just on this weird thing. But yeah, if you try to move it, if you even sneeze on it or something, or just look at it, it's going to pop out of place. So that's a big, big, big mistake right there. I, I can't believe that Hasbro let them, but yeah, I can. But, you know, the QC right there should have had that. Looks good right here on the back. Cleans up, I think, decent. You know, it has a little backpack. This is all painted on clear plastic. When you're transforming him, be careful. That is all clear plastic. So just be careful. And then you got that. That's uh, kind of ugly as well. But you got some waffles in there. Somebody, well, that's not bad. They got some detail scope in there. They may not fill that in. But definitely somebody's going to make something for that. But he looks good. I mean, you know, that's he looks like tracks. He looks like G1 tracks. A lot more than what the Reveal the Shield does. So there you go. That is Kingdom Tracks. And real quick, going to throw in the Takara one as well. And once again, the better paint job. Overall, just the same. Just a different paint job, to be honest. But there you go. There's all three together. And real quick, there's Galvatron, Cyclonus, Black Arachnia, and Warpath for some scale. And Crappagonics, Crappy Toilet Paper, Care Bears, and Squeaks for more scale.
folks, that was my verses on tracks. That was Kingdom versus uh, Reveal the Shield. And like I said, that's a Tekar one. I kind of just threw him in, but really wasn't really part of it. But this is it. Overall, I have to give it to Kingdom. I mean, it just looks better. You know, what it suffers from, it was the wheeljack mode. So he just really doesn't really look like tracks. He's, you know, he's bigger. He's got, you know, like he's put on a couple of pounds and everything. But overall, definitely the car mode. I love this one, except for the front, just the legs. That that, oh, that that issue right there really kills it for me. If they would have fixed that issue, this thing would be really freaking awesome. It is freaking awesome, but it's just from the waist up, it looks good. But yeah, the car mode definitely had to give it to track uh, to Kingdom because it looks more like the G1 tracks. Definitely had to give it that. Even the flying mode looks a whole lot better when you open that up and it just all you do is see the inside of it. Eh, it's kind of meh, but this one looks really good in flat mode. Transformation, both of them fine. You know, the leg transformation kind of walking on the him, but both of them have some uh, some uh, decent transformation. Overall, like I said, this just looks better. I mean, it has issues. It had really has some issues. The leg things, these panels, come on now, that is just sad. And that big old gap on the foot and the, between the um, the ankle and the foot. That's just unsightly. And also the big old gapping hole you can see in here in his forearms. Like I said, somebody's probably going to make a uh, little filler kit right there. But yeah, from the waist up, he looks really good. You know, and if you just leave him on the, you know, on your shelf or something, he looks wonderful. Really good. But when you start messing with them, these right here, that's just, that's problematic. That's just, that's, come on now. Uh, you make us put some sticky tack maybe a little bit of sticky tack and you might can uh you know stick it together better if you want to mess around with it transform it back and forth but like i said it looks really good the head skull the paint both of them have really good paint uh the weapon's really good i love that you can put on uh, blast effects i love that you have some ports that you can switch out i forgot to mention he does have yellow and red paint right there on his forearm that's nice so the paint's really good on both of them um this all right here is blue be careful like i said when you transform him that's all clear plastic right there so it does have some bending and stuff. So you may, you know, you may want to, it may crack or something. Just be careful when you're transforming. I like the weapons. It looks good. I love the head sculpt a lot better on him. So yeah, like overall, he looks good. He's better than him. Definitely an upgrade from the uh, Reveal the Shield. But he just got some issues. He does have some issues. But I really like him. I mean, I want, uh, I just wish they would have fixed that part right there. Oh, I forgot after filming, I forgot to talk about articulation. Articulation is really good on both of them. He really can do a lot of good. He has a better knee bend than what uh, the RTS one has. Uh, I love how you can put the blast effects, um, you know, right here and right there. Really got some uh, some good pictures and stuff. So, yeah, articulation across the board, they're both even. Uh, but, yeah, he really does, you know, Siege, uh, Earthrise, and Kingdom have all been, you know, stepping up their uh, articulation game. So, really nice. So, there you go, articulation. But, anyways, hit me up with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. If you like the content, hit that like button, please. It really helps out the channel. Um, you know, hit that sub button. If, you, if you're new here, definitely hit that. If you want to join the, my, my membership, definitely uh, do that as well. really appreciate that. Hit me up with some comments. Which one do you like better? Do you like the Kingdom or do you like the Reveal the Shield? Which one, the RTS one? Which one do you prefer? Do you have both of them? You know, like I said, I have both of them. And like I said, I threw the Takara one in. He does have a lot better paint because it's just the Takara. That's what they did. So, yeah, I guess I'll see you on the next uh, Versus kind of thing going on. And as always, be good to yourself. Hell has, bro. And good night, folks.